Good evening and welcome to a late edition of Beat Dad Reviews with me, Dave Beat Dad. As you can probably tell from my demeanour, I have had a few shavits. I started off in the brass balance in Birkenhead, where I was, I was having uh, Elvis Juice, followed by 13 Guns by Crafty Dan. A um, few cocktails mixed in, a couple of long iced teas. I um, moved over to the head of steam in Liverpool where I had um I had a vocation uh, sorry a York brew and something else collaboration sour beer called um I can't anyway sour I had a sour beer beautiful nice so I went to eat then I went to brew dog in Liverpool to flex my punk equity card discount muscle and I uh, flexed it well mm. so what I ended up with buying apart from being while I was there I had, uh, sorry while I was there I got the tangerine the clockway tangerine which was which was launched today at six o'clock this this, this evening um, I got myself a pint of that and the, the chap I was with Frank got himself a Simcoe IPA which turns out to be a um, Happy Christmas clone. Yeah, I know. Uh, still trying to sh- shift that shit. I've got no idea what, what the hell's going on with that one. Anyway, um, I then had, after that, I got, <laughs> well, I got this. Ah, I got that. The Pad Train 2018. It cost me seven quid to take it away from the boot, from the from the beer, uh, so from the beer, from the brew dog uh, bar, I, I then managed to squeeze out of the tap a third, so I've tasted it, and it's really good, really good, it's chocolate malts and whatnot, and then there's a lovely little whiskey burn to it, and as it says on there, whiskey cask aged imperial stout. So what I'm going to do, I'll, I will review that, but before I review that, I'll buy another one so I can age it. I, I really want to age this one because this has got 10 years on it. And I think it's a bit of a waste if I just review it now when it's fresh, when I can review it in 10 years' time when I'm old and grey. Anyway, aside from that, I also got a... Uh, got that. Beaver Town and SKBC... Unity makes strength the Belgian style table beer and this weighs in at a hefty 4.5% and there it is. Again, usual stuff with Beaver Town. Nice little can. Very grainy. Sits in the hand lovely. No, 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 no. Thank God. Um, yeah, so that's that's going to go in the fridge. Um, let's say I had, what I had was <coughs> the Clockwork Tangerine and uh, on draft and it's it was okay it wasn't great um the nose it just as soon as you got it you, you, still, you stuck your face in it and you got tangerine you got citrus you got orange and then when when you had the you, you tasted it it was, it was a little bit lackluster the smell Got you. The carbonation is a little bit rugged. Um, this is on draft, obviously. The carbonation is a little bit rugged, and then it kind of went into into nothing. I was very, as I say, I think that the way they used was lackluster, very lackluster. So what I happened to do was while I was there was I got um, got two cans, and what I'm going to do, excuse me, so I'm going to review it now. So this is. Brew Dogs, Clockwork, Tangerine, Citrus Session IPA. Now I know for a fact that this is their prototype Tangerine Session IPA. Everything that I've read about this drink, this drink, points to that. And that's this is what it is. Best before on this one is the 19th of the 3rd, 2019. So they give this plenty of time. So if it was a Session IPA... Just over 12 months? I don't know, you know. I think it would probably better with being in a six-month range. 
before the stops the hops start to fall off. Anyway, so good now here we go. So point beard. Let's open the uh, the beer and see what happens. So let's pop it off. See what we get. Right. So beer at last then. Just be as one sec. Apologize for that, my yeah, uh, my phone was about to die, so I had to go just run and get my charger. So anyway, here we go. As per usual with with, with the old blue dog, it's four point five percent citrus session IPA. It says it says so there. I get the usual. Dead Sea Scrolls from Prudog. So be the glass then. Proper, crystal clear, little bit of carbonation come from the bottom of the glass. And that, my friends, is gold. A little bit of maybe dark gold. Ivory head. What? Figure? Yeah, figure. When I open the can straight away, and I've got a really bad, at the moment, sense of smell. I got citrus. I got tangerines. And that was from sort of, so, look at a couple of inches, three, four inches. Anyway, here we go. Let's get a nose to it. Let's see what it smells like. It's tangerine. <laughs> it's tangerine. A little bit, a little bit of orange, tangerine. That's it. Taste wise, oh, this is a massive. There's a big combination. As I said on a, on a, a I'm sure to somebody earlier on. I said, "What's it like?" Big combination. And it's like like that. And it stops. And there's a little pause, and then whack, tangerines. Mouth feel, it's very light. It's not, it's not watery, but it's nice. The carbonation sort of packs it out a little bit. But it's a beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Lovely little dryness to it at the on, on the back ends as well. It's it's really good. I think this is this is a bad beer. It's not the fucking best though, to be fair. It's um, it smells better than it tastes. And it probably tastes better than it smells. No, it, it smells better than it tastes. And citrus, is, citrus, the tangerines, not bad. The dryness is probably the best thing. Best thing about this beer. The back end of it is lovely. There's a really nice dryness to it. Is it over? Is it over citrus? Is there too much tangerine to it? Possibly. Again, is it one of these lackluster beers that that brewed have made? Because it's a prototype. Because it is prototype session, like, tangent session IPA, after all. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Probably the jury's out on it. I made to review this when I'm sober. And I mean properly sober. It looks good. Let's be fair, it looks great. Oh, give me the hiccups. <coughs> looks good. Smells... Good. That carbonation is really, really harsh. Uh, excuse me. But then, as I said, there's, there's a gap. So, you know, carbonation, 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 stop. Beer. And it's not the greatest thing in the world. Do I like it? No. On draft, it's probably better than the can. And I was hoping it'd be the way around. 
Um, give it a shot. I don't know. Joey's out of this one, I think. Like I say, I like the dryness, but there's a, a smell and then a taste. Of, the smell's great, it smells beautiful. The taste is not there, really, for me. But there's a lovely dryness to it, and I quite like the dryness. It's a. No, I don't like it. No, I'll, I'll be reminded. I'll, ref I'll reflect on it tomorrow morning when I, wake, when I wake up. Hug over. Possibly a little bit. Tiddly from, still, still tiddly from tonight. It's just, it just lacks. It's, uh, it can be, it's, okay, uh, right, I'll tell you what, right. It's no stone Tadjuri Express. <coughs> See that? That's the bomb. This is not that. This tries hard to be that, but comes nowhere near. Nowhere near for me. And the stone, I think, is one of the, one of the best tangerines IPAs I've, I've tasted. It tries hard, nearly gets there. Finishes off not so well. We all go home for tea. Yeah, it's lackluster. It ain't that. But it is that. So, after 12 minutes of rambling on, I think I'm just about done. Oh, excuse me. 12 minutes of rambling on. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think about it. Okay. Yes, I've had a few sherbets, and I thought I'd just review this one quick, quickly while it's still fresh in my mind. Anyway, so I've done. Oh my god, that's carbonation is killing me! Wow, my hurts. Oh, back to the it's just brew dog. If you're listening, Mister Watson, whatever. Take the beer, take the, take that away, and just tone the carbonation down just. A fraction, all right. Anyway, there we go. Thirteen minutes video. <laughs> Didn't mean to do because I'm rambling along because I'm a little bit deviated. If you had to be it, let me know what you think. If you want to watch this video, please feel free. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Whatever you want to do, um, I'm done. I'm out of here. <sighs> Would I recommend it? The bed again? No. Ta-da! Hail the ale.